Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Coming to you today from uh, inside the B studio because it's uh, cold and blowing outside. It's uh, early part of March. I think today is the 7th or 8th, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a Sunday. And uh, I was going to get out and shoot some video today, but it's just... It's just not conducive to that. So I'm going to do a homestead update today. Uh, haven't done one the last two months. Uh, so I'm going to talk about what I got going in here mainly and a little bit about what's going on in the bee yard. And uh, then I'll give you a quick tour of uh, what's going on in the house. So uh, in here, what I got going on is I'm building these nuke boxes. Uh, I think I'm building 11 of them, and they're mostly built out of, well, they're all built out of OSB, but it's leftover scrap lumber from up at the house. They just had this stuff laying around everywhere. So I uh, got me a uh, migratory cover for them, and uh, I had to add another piece of wood inside to hold the frames. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I added this little lip here. That's another piece of wood glued and stapled in place. So these are all stapled and glued. And they'll hold five deep frames. So it's not a standard size. It's a little bit longer because it had to accommodate that, that little uh, ridge there. It's uh, not quite three quarters and it's a little over half. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but... Anyway, I measured it out and got it all fit. And the bottom boards, here's all my bottom boards lined up there. So yeah, I got a lot of painting to do now. Uh, I still got to make all the tops, the, the covers, and here's all the wood for that. So maybe that's something I'll get done today inside, outside of this uh, weather. One other thing, uh, we got our onions in. So we need to get these planted. These are from Dixondale. And I got two varieties. Show you those. I got a yellow and a white. And the whites are called Texas Super Sweet. I can't remember the variety of the yellow. But someone told me this yellow onion is the same as a Vidalia. But they can't call it Vidalia because of the trademark. Uh, yellow Granix. So these are supposed to be some really good onions that get really big, really big bulbs. And there's video online from Dixondale that show you how to plant these. Uh, I watched Oki Rob do it on his channel. What you do is you build your ground up and you cut a you dig a little furrow and you treat it with uh, fertilizer like 10-20-10, a little sprinkle down that. And then you plant your onions two rows on the outside of that fertilizer. And uh, apparently onions need a lot of nitrogen and fertilizer and that'll make them grow really big. So might get that done today. I'm going to try and prep the ground. Another new thing. So some future videos you might see. Uh, got a new saw. So I had a Greenworks. Or I still have it. 40 volt. But this is a different version. This is the Digipro. 40 volt. And it has a brushless motor. And this will perform about like that uh, Makita that my neighbor has. Uh, this sucker cuts really good. And it's got a 16 inch bar. So I'll probably be doing a video on that. And also, kind of go around through the shop here. This kind of got all these boxes. <laughs> these are lights for the house. So we got everything crammed in here. So it's been kind of crazy. So we live in this barn. There's a 600 foot apartment in the end there. Right there's a door goes into our apartment. So that's where we live for now. 
and our house is getting built right there so we lived out here for five years in that apartment so another video I'm going to do is uh, I got a blower also with that uh, chainsaw and I have the weed eater that's the Greenworks weed eater that has uh, detachable ends so you can put uh, edgers and other attachments on the end of that so I'll be doing a product review on those and I got a couple more uh, 4 amp hour batteries another thing I did this winter I tried my hand at uh, some candle making so there's some candles I made I had one with the little bears on it but they're all gone gave them all away and I got some uh, from Johnny seeds got some white clover seed there's a pound and another video I'm planning on doing, I'm going to add a 16-inch uh, bar on my DeWalt uh, chainsaw that you saw over there. So that's the bar. A couple chains for that. And that's an extra chain for that Greenworks. All kinds of little projects. What we got going here? Oh, that's some sugar. I had to go to the dollar store yesterday and get sugar for the bees because <laughs> they didn't want to go to Walmart. And I made a trip to Harbor Freight this week. Got me a battery tester. Been working on batteries. I tried to revive this battery here and uh, didn't work out. I got me a DC adjustable DC power supply. And uh, I was watching videos on how to revive batteries and uh, so that's the battery I keep down in my barn it runs my solar and it had dried out so uh, from now on I'm getting these style like this this is a sealed lead acid so those don't dry out on you these are what I put in my game cameras that's a 6 volt and that's a 12 volt and I use this uh, Harbor Freight Viking charger right here Keep it on the maintain setting. Works pretty good. Yeah, so come on around the corner. We've got all of our... We've got faucets and doorknobs and man, you name it. We've got stuff stacked to the gills in here for this house build. And we did a little bit of prepping for the uh, impending virus quarantine. I bought lots of chick feed to last a couple months chicken feed and uh, so we'll have eggs anyway <laughs> and uh, we got a little bit of extra meat we put in the freezer over there and at tractor supply on the way home from work Friday we got us some new chicks so we've got uh, uh, six new chicks get them out of that red light so this is a blue laced Wyandot, and these yellow ones are Buff Orpingtons. So the Buff Orpingtons are really a friendly chicken. They're just like a pet. They'll crawl up in your lap and uh, they're really friendly and they're good egg layers. I got those blue ones just <laughs> to see what they turn out like uh, so we already have buff orpingtons and golden sex links and i'd tell you those golden sex links are really good laying chickens the orpingtons are too but the sex links are uh, a lot better and we got a floor sample there <laughs> we need to take that back uh, over our chickens keeping them warm a couple other projects. Uh, so while I was getting the chicks uh, at Tractor Supply, they had uh, some tomatoes there, and I went ahead and bought six of those. I got uh, six uh, Celebrity Tomatoes, and here's a picture of those. So last year we had celebrities, and man, they did really good. Uh, I've seen uh, other gardeners, uh, Mr. CB's, uh, CB's Greenhouse and Garden. Uh, that's an excellent gardening channel for tomatoes especially. Uh, he does some celebrities and that's what turned me on to those. Uh, he does a lot of other varieties but I think that was the one that I 
picked up on that he had really good success for production with but uh honestly anything mr cb grows it's going to do good because he's an awesome gardener uh also uh oaky rob check him out uh he just changed his channel name to bruce's bees just b not b-e-e -E, but bruce's bees but uh check out oaky rob uh his gardening stuff and he's building him a new greenhouse he lives in southeast oklahoma so check those two channels out they are really good gardening and very helpful channels uh on the bees i'm not going to go down there and show you the bees i'm just going to tell you real quick so uh coming into mid-march uh, we're getting close to nectar flow temperatures are warming up except for today there's no bees flying today uh, I had out pollen feeders. They not, they're not hitting the uh, Bee Pro anymore. They're bringing in natural pollen. Uh, elm trees, I think, is what's, what they're getting most of it uh, right now. And there's some yellow pollen a little bit coming in. Not sure what that's from. Uh, someone posted uh, on a couple, three videos back, a link to a pollen uh, sourcing chart that shows you the colors and what they're bringing in that's really interesting so check that out uh, so i've been feeding the bees uh, i put liquid on three hives they're my weakest hives and they're semi-struggling uh, a lot of people are saying i need to like reduce the double deep ones down uh, i might do that uh, i might not so we're close to the nectar flow so when that hits they build really fast and uh my uh number 17 and 18 i believe have fairly new queens in them so they will those new queens young queens that are a year old that's when they're in their prime and they're really going to lay heavily uh this year they should and uh, might even produce some honey out of those up in a third box which would be the honey super uh yesterday i went around and checked the weight of all the hives uh, the ones that I had feeders on, uh, some of them were light. The huge swarm uh, was totally out of sugar. So, uh, and they'd start building uh, burr comb up in there. They were building drone comb up in the feeder. So I had to clean all that out. I loaded them up with some uh, pollen patties. I still have a few of those and sugar. So I, I fill up all the hives with sugar. And before I did all that, I did an oxalic acid treatment. I'm gonna get, get one of those in before I do my rotation. So uh, I will probably do one more oxalic acid treatment next weekend, like on a Saturday and then Sunday, I'm probably gonna rotate my boxes and get the brood uh, that's up in the top down below and the empty part up above so they can fill that deep up with uh, honey. So that'll be their winter stores for next coming winter so that's how i do it around here uh, if there's already brood in the bottom i don't rotate them so that's something you got to watch out for so it's it's getting time to rotate the hives uh, and shortly after that it'll be time to put the honey supers out uh, my supers are all stored right here and they had the uh, moth crystals on them so the crystals are probably all evaporated by now uh, and uh, i'll be getting those out sitting them outside you know getting them aired out and getting them ready uh, to install so uh, I'll probably do that in the early part of April so that is it with the bees I got uh, 25 hives right now I combined uh, two of those nukes into one early on so I had 26 so now I'm down 25 um, I'm shooting for 30 and uh, in swarm season I'm thinking since uh, I've fed I put pollen patties I haven't open fed, but uh, I'm trying to keep my hives really strong uh, coming into spring. So they're going to produce naturally swarm cells and I'm going to do my splits with natural swarm cells and I'm hoping to sell some nukes off of those splits. So uh, I got to get me a B stand built and for all these uh, 10 or 11 nuke boxes and get ready for that. So I'm hoping I'll sell 10 nukes this year. So we'll see how that goes. That's my plan. I don't know what the bees plans are though. Okay, uh, that's it basically. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the garden and the chickens and all that. Let's get up and uh, walk through the house real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. So we still don't have any resolution on this door. So this was a mahogany door that the builder put on 
and instead of putting on a construction door you put this thing on during construction and you can see the water damage on it oh if I don't fall over down here and all in here so it's like this all the way around okay, and you can see it up there in the corners so this is on the outside on the inside this panel is bowed inwards it's warped so what happened was when they were doing the drywall it was so wet and humid in there and it was cold outside that door just covered itself with condensation and the brick doesn't match so there were two runs of brick and they didn't blend it so they sent some guy up here with some paint and daub paint on it so now it looks like a tetris game so that just looks like crap so that's a brick color issue and then around here they didn't match the mortar right so it's dyed mortar and you can see where they stopped one day and began another you can see a line see the difference in the color right along there so they said they would uh they've got something they can grind that out and redo the mortar but i'm skeptical let's go inside okay this is our uh, little bathroom off the garage so they're doing cabinets mainly and the cabinet builder is top notch so far <laughs> here's the pantry I gotta use my little light off my camera and this is under the stairs here this we're gonna this is the broom broom and vacuum cleaner location so let's go into the uh, so here's pantry number two this is made for mainly uh, canned goods chars and stuff for canning out of the garden so let's see what all they got done in here so here's the master bedroom and we got a there's going to be an additional wall unit uh, ductless air conditioner right there so we can control the temperature of this master bedroom separate from the whole house like in the summer we can keep it cooler here's the shower so the tiler was about to begin tiling and uh, he had the wrong tile so we're the place where we bought the tile put the wrong stuff on and we got the toilet spot in here and freestanding tub there and shelves and these shelves will have doors and they haven't started on the bathroom cabinets yet and the master closet it's going to have a built-in dresser right here and it's going to be a double decker closet with where you can hang things up high so our closet's connected to the utility room so washer and dryer will be here and they're building a pedestal for that with drawers underneath so all the shelving sorry about the lighting so this will all have doors over it here's our water manifold This stuff's all kind of boring 
good stuff's out here. <laughs> Oops, I went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, so this is kind of a uh, a beverage fridge will go here. Little countertops, so this will be granite. And then cabinets. So let's get out here in the living area. So here's the kitchen. All the cabinets in the island. They did a nice job on that. Look at the legs they built. They're tapered. And that's where the fridge will go. And all the cabinets all go all the way to the ceiling. It's just range hood and other cabinets. And there's a bunch of oak wood they've got for the trim. So they've been doing trim. They got this door trimmed in. The huge sliding door. So in about a week they should be done. Uh, from what I understand they get the doors, the cabinet doors from somewhere else. This is where they build everything. Everything's custom made in here. Uh, there's a big table saw out in the garage. Then there's a china hutch. I think this is going to be glass front. And the one over here, this one on the left will be glass as well with oak shelves. And the shelving goes clear across there. They haven't done anything upstairs yet. There's going to be two sets of shelves up there. And here's my office. So uh, they're going to build a oak tabletop for that. And this will be oak shelving right here. And the rest of that's cabinetry. So this is where the magic will happen for all your future YouTube videos. <laughs> so, hey, that's what we got going on around here. Sorry I didn't uh, have any good uh, action shots of, of actually doing stuff. Just kind of a quick update. Uh, it's kind of a dreary day for videoing anything. So uh, this is what we're going to do this week. Uh, hopefully I'll get out there after a while and do some work on that uh, bed and get those onions planted and uh, that's my thing I want to get done today so hey be sure and thumbs up the video if you would and helps my channel grow we're almost to 5,000 now so uh, be sure and subscribe if you haven't and uh, we'll catch you on the next video y'all take care